हेलो एवरी वन सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी हैव टू इवेल्युएट लिमिट एक्स टेन्स टू टू रूट ऑफ सिक्स माइनस एक्स माइनस रूट ऑफ टू प्लस एक्स होल अपॉन फाइव एक्स माइनस टेन नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द सोल्यूशन इफ यूल ऑब्जर्व द गिवन फंक्शन देन यर इट इज अल्जेब्रिक फंक्शन एंड वेन एवर वी हैव अल्जेब्रिक फंक्शन इन लिमिट वी स्टार्ट विथ डायरेक्ट मेथड and if we get 0 upon 0 by direct method then we say direct method fails and then we look for some other method so here first of all i will start with direct method so i am considering this given limit as l which is x tends to 2 square root of 6 minus x minus square root of 2 plus x whole upon 5x minus 10 now as i said by direct method we will get l as square root of 6 minus 2 minus square root of 2 plus 2 whole upon 5 into 2 minus 10 now 6 minus 2 is 4 so it will becomes root of 4 minus root of 4 which is 0 and 5 into 2 that is 10 minus 10 is 0 so here we are getting 0 upon 0 that is indeterminate form and whenever we get 0 upon 0 by direct method we say direct method fails so here direct method fails now if direct method fails then we have to look for some other method to get the solution now if you will observe the given term once again then you will find that there are two square roots in the numerator with minus sign in between and whenever we have square root terms with minus or positive sign in between we apply method of rationalization where we multiply numerator and denominator with the conjugate of that term so here i will use method of rationalization and by method of rationalization here we will get l as limit x tends to 2 square root of 6 minus x minus square root of 2 plus x whole upon 5x minus 10 now i am multiplying the numerator and denominator with the conjugate so the conjugate of this term is square root of 6 minus x plus square root of 2 plus x here we'll get square root of 6 minus x plus square root of 2 plus x now if you'll observe the numerator then here we got the form a minus b and a plus b so here i can apply the formula a square minus b square hence the next term will become limit x tends to 2 square root of 6 minus x the whole square minus square root of 2 plus x the whole square so here i am applying the formula a square minus b square that is a minus b and a plus b now in the numerator we got this term and in the denominator we have 5x minus 10 and in second bracket we have root of 6 minus x plus root of 2 plus x now by solving this we will get limit x tends to 2 this square root and square will be cancelled and we will get 6 minus x similarly here we'll get 2 plus x whole upon from 
this term I can take 5 common in the bracket we will get x minus 2 and second term as it is that is root of 6 minus x plus root of 2 plus x. Now therefore in numerator if you will observe then because of this minus sign this 2 will become negative. So 6 minus 2 will become 4 and because of this negative sign here we will get minus x. So minus x and minus x that is minus 2x whole upon 5 into x minus 2 into root of 6 minus x plus root of 2 plus x. Now from numerator I will take minus 2 common so that from here I will get x and from here I will get minus 2. And in the denominator we have the term 5 into x minus 2 root of 6 minus x plus root of 2 plus x. So here I am taking this minus 2 common purposely so that we can get x minus 2 in numerator and then we can cancel that term with the term x minus 2 in the denominator. So now this limit will become minus 2 upon 5 outside limit x tends to 2 1 upon root of 6 minus x plus root of 2 plus x and now by direct method here we will get l as minus 2 upon 5 this term will give us square root of 6 minus 2 that is 4 so square root of 4 is 2 plus this will become root of 2 plus 2 that is 4 and square root of 4 is again 2 and 2 plus 2 is 4 so minus 2 upon 5 into 4 and which is equal to minus 2 upon 20 and this is nothing but minus 1 upon 10. So the value of the given limit is minus 1 upon 10. Thank you.